Yo, what is up guys? Today we are back with another tutorial and today we're gonna be talking about how to use sound effects for your Instagram reels or long form content. I actually have included all of the sounds that I'm gonna be using in today's tutorial down below so that way you guys can go ahead and get these assets for completely free. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So I actually have a video loaded up of a reel that I posted earlier this week and we're gonna go ahead and dissect the actual edit so that way I can show you guys how I actually use the sound effects that I've given to you guys. And when you guys go ahead and download the sound effects pack down below, you're gonna go ahead and get a folder with these four sound effects. So here's the first one. And that's a uh, riser metallic. There's another one. Another one. And then this is the one that I kind of created myself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would use each one of these and how I actually have I went ahead and used each one of these. So the first one is the riser metallic, um, super clean. So you just want to go ahead and add it into your timeline, which this is Premiere Composer. If you don't have that plugin, I would highly recommend you go ahead and cop it. It's actually, I believe free. It's just a great way to organize all your files. Go cop it. Now that we have it inside of the timeline, I'm going to go ahead and show you what exactly I would do to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw my headsets on real fast, see where I placed it. Okay, so I went ahead and placed it right here. And typically when I go ahead and use this sound effect, what I like to do is place it right on the cut after the hook, if that makes sense. So this is where sort of the hook ends, which is right here at this cut. And then let's just say there's a cut mark right here. So let's go ahead and just split it Might as well. And then I go ahead and grab that sound effect and then I drag and drop it right here. And I place exactly where it ends at the end of that clip or where it splits, just like that. And then you can honestly just leave it like this which that'll sound weird because the audio is doubled up right now. But um, so let's actually go ahead and just unlink this real fast. So it'll sound kind of like that, right? And it actually just kind of flows, right? I know a lot of people use this sound effect, but they use it wrong and it like sounds terrible and kind of just the flow sounds just weird. A few things that you can do to this. Here's actually exactly what I do. So I go ahead into essential sounds tab and then I go ahead and preset sound effects default and I throw like a five reverb. And then I go ahead and turn this down like negative three, negative four, something like that. And then here's kind of with it. You can kind of hear that um, that reverb at the end. It honestly just sounds really, really good. The biggest thing with sound effects is you want everything to sound sort of cohesive. You don't want the sound effects to be overpowering your actual video, because if they do, then again, it just seems like it's almost out of place. So that is how to use the riser metallic. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use the takeover click. The way I use this, is just double click it, drag and drop it. Um, I go ahead and use these sound effects for the film burn transitions that I use in all my videos. So you can just do it in any transition for your video. Um, so again, following the same exact process, go to essential sound, sound effects, default. Um, and this one, I just turned down the clip volume to like negative five, something like that. I don't even play with the reverbs, no need to. So it'll sound like that, super clean, super, super easy. So then you just go through where all of your like sort of um, film burns are, with the exception of this, I'll show you guys later. Just where all the film burns are, just go ahead, just copy paste it. And like, it just sounds so much better than just just a random cut with no sort of sound effects, just as an extra layer to your video. And then now moving on to the focus click, I go ahead and use this when I'm transitioning from my talking head to B-roll clips. And it honestly just sounds really good. Again, drag and drop. You're basically gonna follow the same exact process for all of these and just play around with the settings that makes each sort of sound effect sound good. Let's go ahead and line it up right at this sort of film burn overlay, because there's gonna be a transition to something different. I'm gonna go ahead and go to right here just negative three. Dope. And you can add another one. Typically when you sort of change from a B-roll back to a talking head, I just go ahead and throw the same exact takeover sort of click sound effect on. And it just sounds good because if you have it like duplicating, like that sound effect is kind of unique. It sounds it a little bit more. So it just, if it's too repetitive, it's just going to sound, like I said, too repetitive. You don't want that. And now the last sort of sound effect, it's pretty much the same, pretty much the same exact concept as the, um, but I just go ahead and place it throughout the entire video. And you really only want to use this sound effect probably once or twice max inside of your video. So go ahead and find a spot where it cuts and where the topic sort of shifts a little bit. So I would say authentic to you. Like right there, I'd go ahead and place it. And again, you just want where it ends to be right on the cut. There. And then again, sound effects, default, heavy reverb, turn it up and then just turn this down. Maybe negative eight, because this one's a little bit louder. That sounds actually really good. So that's fire. 
Now, sort of last sort of effect that you guys can go ahead and do. It's not gonna be with any of these sound effects in here. It's gonna be with background music. And what I like to do with background music is either turn it down and also sometimes add a low pass filter. So I'll go ahead and import my music real quick. And real quick, a quick tip, when you're importing your music, I like to go to the bass drop and then I like to go again where this first riser sort of hits, line it up perfectly just like this and then drag out the beginning and then just go ahead, click it, auto tag, it'll show up as a music sort of file and then you just go to clip volume, turn it down to negative eight, actually probably negative like 25 I say would be general rule of thumb. You want your audio levels for background music to be half of what your speaking voice is. Typically my speaking's right here so i'd like to be in about like this negative 30 range which that's typically where we're at let's go ahead and add a low pass filter and if you just go ahead in the effects go to low pass drag and drop um, i actually have it preset but i'm not going to use that right now um, filter and eq low pass drag and drop i believe it's lower the number is the more low passy vibe you're going to get okay so let's go ahead and just tweak this until we can hear it the higher you go the more normal it's going to sound the lower you go the more sort of bassy it's gonna sound and for this sort of audio i wouldn't even add a low pass filter for like reels because i just find you don't really need it but like youtube videos when you're actually explaining stuff in depth low pass filter is goaded all right guys so that's everything that you guys need to know about this sound effects pack and how you guys can use it for your instagram reels or long form content if you're an editor looking to improve your workflow go ahead and cop my preset pack down below in the description it's how i'm able to edit my videos in less than an hour each and every single day it's honestly a no-brainer to go ahead and cop if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe down below i'll see you guys in the next one peace out